President Paul Kagame taking an oath of office for another seven years. This comes after Rwandan Patriotic Front claimed a landslide victory during the presidential elections held early this month. Kagame was then handed instruments of power, which are the constitution, the national flag, the coat, and a baton from the military. The head of state will ensure that citizens overcome the ramifications of the gruesome past. Attempt that, ha that was made, whether from within and especially from outside, to denigrate the process and glorify the old politics of division only made Rwandans more defiant and more determined to express ourselves through the vote. All along, we have had to fight to protect our right, to do what is best for us, and we will, without any doubt, continue to do so. About 15 African heads of states, including President Hage Gengop, as well as former presidents and diplomats, attended the ceremony. Kagame used the opportunity to call for unity amongst his people and the entire continent. Let's build on the reform spirit that has taken root in the African Union and indeed in every African country to quickly deliver the results that our people expect and have been waiting for. The event was graced with a military parade from the country's defense force members to the amusement of many.